Contact left. All stations, fall back immediately. East, fall back. HQ, pull back east, grab a position. One, begin falling back. This is not tenable. We have too many casualties. We're going to have to break contact. An overwhelming defeat is always the result of minor failures. What does that mean, exactly? During the operation that you're watching, we had two full Marine Special Operations teams, each containing 14 men, thus totaling nearly 30 combat troops. By the time that call to break contact was given, there was only 10 men left alive. 35% of our initial strength. So, what went wrong? There wasn't any glaring issue, no major tactical blunder that doomed 18 men. So, what happened that resulted in that situation? It was a series of small, minor failures that snowballed into the overwhelming defeat that you see in this video. None of those failures by themselves would have doomed the task force, but together, compounding one after another, that is what doomed the task force, thus the overwhelming defeat. Mistake number one, terrain. Both MSOTs on the mission, 8311 Legion, the team that I'm running in the video, and 8312 Viking were tasked with pushing north and intercepting enemy troops forward of a factory and a checkpoint. Viking had taken light contact from the tree line to the west, our left flank, and together we decided it would be easiest for Viking to stay in the tree line after they dealt with the contact, and then both MSOTs would push north on a line. The problem arose as we were discussing their clearing of the forest. Listen. Viking Legion, interrogative, uh, do you intend to move to the west side and check that out, or are you planning on staying on the down uh, slope east side? Over. Viking, uh, we're currently moving up slope, but only to the top of the steep terrain that we have next to us, uh, and then we're going to move along that to the north. Roger. Did you catch it? Read the contour lines on the map. Both myself and the team leader for Viking mistakenly read the terrain as being the top of a hill towards the center or the west side of the tree line. In reality, this is what it actually looks like. A draw and an upward slope that didn't end until well after the town on the west side. So instead of Viking ending up on a hilltop with eyes on the town and the valley, like both captains, who admittedly were trying very hard in this particular moment to be second lieutenants, thought they instead ended up in a kill zone with obstructed lines of sight, no reconnaissance ability, and a sizable enemy force waiting on the other side. Mistake number two, coordination. The MSOTs were working with members of the Turner's Defense Force during this mission. The CDF were manning the checkpoint, as well as other positions throughout the region, and we had verbal contact with them while we were at the checkpoint. After we left on their assignment to push north, we asked our company commander if company had any communication or interface with the CDF. Uh, interrogative, do we have any method of uh, interfacing with the CDF? Over. Uh, if I can say it was a BMP. Negative, not at this moment. The answer was no. A brief attempt was made by Legion's HQ element to run back to the checkpoint and re-establish verbal communication with the CDF. But this was put on hold as the combat elements began to take contact from the north inside the tree line. We would never get the opportunity to re-establish that line of communication again. From this moment on, we had no communication or sharing of intelligence between the task force and our local forces, a fact that would contribute to the defeat you have already seen. As it turns out, enemy forces were already moving in mass in a mechanized push south. Danger close, danger close, danger close, coming to us now. BMP2s. As Legion began taking contact, the CDF already knew. But, as we had no way of communicating with each other, Legion and Viking wouldn't figure this out until much later. And now that Viking was moving into a kill zone due to the previous terrain mistake, perhaps you can already see where this is going. Mistake number three. Wrong response. Legion was facing light infantry contact on the north and east flank. Viking began reporting multiple enemy APCs and heavy infantry contact on their west flank. I asked if Viking required assistance in taking out the APCs due to Legion being better equipped with AT weaponry. The only response I got 
was that they were being overrun and were going to attempt to break contact. Viking is Legion interrogative. Do you require AT assistance? Hey, from we're getting heavy overrun. We're about to start to uh, push, push smoke and fall back to the northeast. Roger, please do. At this time, we were separated by nearly 500 meters. And from the information they provided, it's an easy inference that they would likely have a lot of casualties, thus needing strong medical assistance, AT assistance due to the vehicles, and a lot more guns to gain fire superiority. At a distance of 500 meters, it would take at least four minutes to arrive. Viking situation warranted a major and immediate response from Legion to try and save them. Instead, I opted to send a single five-man team to evaluate the situation. Even in an ideal world where that team got there, evaluated that Viking clearly needed help, and called in the rest of Legion, the response time for functional medical support and a useful number of guns becomes nearly eight minutes. Well beyond the time that it would take for them to bleed out. Legion 2 moved up, engaged as many enemy vehicles and infantry as they could before they were flanked, overrun, and killed. After losing contact with them, the rest of Legion attempted to push in and help, but to little avail. Mistake number four, air support. The task force had an MH-60 DAP available to provide CAS, which had not been utilized up until this point, as Legion had little need for CAS and Viking did not have a JTAC to interface with aviation. Due to this, Attempts to get Viking casts were slow, as it had to be done via DCS marks and with no actual eyes or situational awareness from the controller. Regardless, at the time Viking began to break contact, all friendly forces were contained inside the tree line. Air support was capable of identifying and engaging targets on their own, provided the JTAC and or task force commander cleared them to do so. In the confusion of combat, I failed to recognize the method by which to employ aviation effectively and failed to give the JTAC permission to authorize such an action. Instead, they were relegated to conducting surveillance on the town, now hammering Viking, and had no method of providing immediate assistance to the depleted ground forces. Mistake number five, not listening. When Legion II made contact with the enemy, they destroyed two APCs and began taking fire from third. They indicated its location and that they were being pinned down by it, as well as one more critical piece of information. Roger, clear, clear them. We are out of AT, and I did not hear them say that. It was said clearly over the radio, it entered my ears, but in the stress of the situation, my brain tuned it out. And without AT, they were at the mercy of the BTR, and I did nothing to mitigate that situation. The BTR killed Legion 2, and we found it and took it out on foot, but much too late to rescue Legion 2, and at this stage we were now far too late to save any fragments of Viking. We made an attempt to push forward, but began taking contact from two great of angles as we pushed in. Their CTAB devices had also all lost signal, indicating that they had bled out and died. It was at this point the call for Legion to break contact and retreat through the forest was given. HQ, pull back east, grab a position. One, begin falling back. This is not tenable. We have too many casualties. We're going to have to break contact. Roger that. Break contact. The conclusion. A total of five minor contributing mistakes were made leading up to the loss of 18 men in a situation that was absolutely winnable under the right circumstances. If at any stage any of those minor mistakes had been noticed or corrected, it could have dramatically changed the way the situation played out. If the reality of the terrain had been realized sooner, Viking would have likely kept east closer to Legion, and the situation that resulted in their death would have been ended then and there. If communication had been re-established with the CDF, we would have been advised of the enemy advance and known to pull back to a more defensive position. If more or all of Legion had been diverted to assist Viking once it became clear that they were being overrun, there would have been a fighting chance of gaining fire superiority in rescuing them. If air support had been given permission to freely engage anything outside of the tree line, Viking and the inbound Legion would have been given some breathing room to deal with their casualties. And finally, if Legion 2's call that they were out of AT had been heard, the DAP could have been called in on the BTR and at least saved their lives. 
the longer you go without fixing mistakes, the harder it is to recover from them or fix them. The control you have over the situation degrades bit by bit, eventually to the point where there is nothing that you can do to salvage the situation. Correcting minor mistakes early enough and knowing when and how to quit before the situation becomes unrecoverable is the key to avoiding or salvaging situations like this. Thus, overwhelming defeat is always the result of minor failures that compound and snowball until there is no recovering from them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button for more of these episodes and more gameplay coming in the near future. The full version of this operation is also available on my YouTube channel if you would like to watch it from start to finish. If you'd like to participate in operations like this or work with the members of the 3rd MRB, applications are currently open at the website 3dmrbru.com. Link in the description.